Robert says the Queen's funeral was a magnificent event, but it must have cost a fortune. Who pays us or the family? Well, look, Robert, you know, there are those, of course, who will always complain and have always complained about the cost of the royal family. I would say the cost of the royal family is as nothing, not just compared to the soft power that it allows us to exert around the world, not just because of the tourists that it normally brings to Buckingham Palace and to Windsor, but actually, actually, what we've learned, again, I'm going to repeat this, it's so important, what we've learned in the last 10 days is what a constitutional monarchy is, what our system of government is, and it's something, it's something that evolved, emerged, we went through a civil war, we went through the glorious revolution, and this is how we've done things since 1688, and arguably we've done it better than any other country in the world. I would argue too that our constitutional monarchy actually has stopped us going to the extremes of fascism or communism, has protected us in many ways, unites left and right in British politics. People of all faiths, of all religions, of all races. I think we've learned in the last 10 days that whatever it costs to finance this is frankly peanuts because actually the royal family to this country, our constitutional monarchy is in my mind, literally priceless.